gym and make some chest gains. All right, guys. So today we're gonna be hitting some chest, shoulders, and abs. And I titled the workout Chest, Shoulders, and Abs. Don't skip abs workout. Because I know a lot of you skip abs when you get to the end. We're not gonna do that. Although I did forget to write down what I'm doing for abs <laughs> on the paper. But don't worry, I, I know what's going on up here. So we're gonna be following some overload principles once again. And even though it says chest and shoulders, we are bringing a lot of triceps into these movements. Obviously when we do bench press, we're activating triceps. We're gonna be doing some overhead pressing, which is gonna activate triceps. So we're gonna finish the workout with a superset of doing chest dips. Um, Superset it with triangle push-ups, which is going to destroy the triceps as well. So even though it's not a triceps focused workout, we're going to take advantage of all the overloading and the muscle fatigue to kind of burn them out at the end. Well, first things first, we're going to get started with bench press. We're going to do five sets, eight, eight, six, six, four. So increasing the weight as the reps go down. Then we're going to do the 20% bench with uh, six to eight reps dumbbells. Then we move on to overhead press, dumbbell rear delt and then into the power shrugs. And I wanna do power shrugs last. I wanna see how they feel. I wanna see how it feels overloading on power shrugs with my rear delts already kinda of tore up from doing the dumbbell rear delt raises. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, Ricky, you ready to get started? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, yeah. grab the side of the plates. Everyone, get no, the no, side no, of the plates here. <laughs> Come on. Make it serious. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. We're doing curls. Um, Curl it. Yeah, just four. Do you want a lift off? No. Okay, Dad. Curl it. <laughs> Little does he know that I'm not going to make this Don't yell, though. It demotivates me. <laughs> Am I supposed to bench looking at that face? <laughs> super intense, super intense. <laughs> Anabolic. I love being intense. Intense? Intense. Camping. Yep. You ready? Marshmallows. <laughs> I'm getting so demotivated right now. <laughs> listening to All these All the two. blood's flowing downward if you catch my drift. Oh. Do you feel the heat? <laughs> One. Two. Come on, easy. One more. Come on. Right weight. Push, 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 push. Beautiful. All right, guys, now that we got a lot of overloading in with the flat bench press going as heavy as we can, increasing the weight as we decrease the reps, we're going to go into some volume training, but using the 20% incline trick where, remember, guys, when you're flat, it brings a lot of triceps into the movement. <laughs> Freaking me out <laughs> with your Cheerios. We love food. Oh, 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 oh. Gabe's going Gabe's gonna to kill you. <laughs> All right guys, so we just finished doing our first exercise. We overloaded as much as possible. Now we're still gonna attack the chest, but the goal here is going to be volume. And we're doing the 20% incline bench press, which if you haven't seen my video, 67% fast to chest growth. It explains why I like to do it this way. But overall, we get a nice full activation of the entire pectoralis major on every single set here. So go as heavy as you can, but you definitely want six to eight reps, but always leaning closer to the seven to eight, okay? Not so much six to seven, all right?
trust them all. Never look down, but it's risk of all. They got guts, got a lot, I gotta wish it all. Ain't got no feelings, we just flowing. Yeah, I'm that grain of sand that made it out the ocean. Uh, a couple milli, now I'm causing a commotion. I've been coasting, hear my name all around the world like an explosion. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the overhead press now. And I gotta say, doing the 20% incline dumbbell pressing after the heavy barbell pressing, I was like getting confused in my head because the speed on the way up was so much slower than what I'm used to. Just goes to show you that it's working. Now, keep in mind, when you move on to the overhead press, right, we're doing the same rep scheme, 8864, but you've already done a lot of benching, which means your triceps are fatigued, which means you're not gonna be able to lift as heavy as you're used to. A little bit of push pressing is okay, but don't get discouraged if you have to lower the weight a little bit in order to get those clean reps out. Quick set. Eight like this. You know what guys, that first set was a little too easy, 95 pounds, and there's no rule that says if you misjudge how much weight you should be lifting for your set, that you have to count that set and keep going. And so many people do this, that they have a number in the head, oh, I could only do three sets, so if I screw up on the first one, I gotta make up for it in the next two. Just negate the set and start over with the proper working weight. You guys know that I hate overhead pressing. Yeah, man. All right guys, next we're gonna move into a dumbbell bent over raise, one arm at a time. Just to warn you, I'm gonna be doing a lot of overloading here, so it's gonna look like there's not a lot of control, but I will be trying to control the negative as much as I can. I just wanna get a lot of weight on my rear delts. I've always had a hard time growing them. I always do a lot of volume, so in this workout, I'm gonna focus on overloading, one arm at a time. Yeah. <sighs> Man, feels good, man. You gotta try this. All right, guys, so we're gonna move into power shrugs, the last big exercise before going into our chest dip triangle push up superset now. I originally wanted to do these on the Smith machine, so I wanted to lean back a little bit and get more of a tug kind of in the front of my body. But the Smith machines are being used and I don't feel like waiting, but the only downside is these squat racks are too high, the safety bars. So I'm gonna have to stand on two 45 pound plates. So 
if you have the same problem in your gym, just know that you can stand on plates and still do the exercise, it's totally safe. Now I do want you guys to use wrist wraps so that way your forearms don't come into the equation. The last thing you want is forearm fatigue and that ruining the power shrug because the power shrug is supposed to be overloading with heavy weight. Now, yeah, we train shoulders this is targeting more traps, but I want to take advantage of all the muscle fatigue in my upper body while doing the power shrugs just to see just to see how it feels. I get a feeling that my rear delts are going to really light up because they're already fatigued and I'm going to really sit and let the weight pull down on my traps. And as I pull my shoulders up like this, I'm going to have to strain the muscles. I just worked super hard on the overhead pressing and the bent over rear delt raise. All right, Natty Daddy, what's up? All right, guys, we're getting to the end of the workout here before abs. We're gonna superset chest dips with triangle push-ups. Now, you guys will notice there's a pattern in my workouts and my programs that it's always body weight-ish type training towards the end because we wanna take advantage of all the muscle fatigue and breakdown of micro tears that we get from the overloading. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to do body weight exercises, especially if you're really strong in the beginning of your workout unless you're doing it as a warm up. But you're gonna get a lot more out of doing a dip and a triangle push up when your whole upper body's fatigued versus doing it when you're fresh and have all kinds of strength. You're gonna be able to get more out of, you're gonna be able to get more damage out of less reps because you're gonna be struggling because you're tired. Remember that. Yeah, man, look at that chest. Ooh, baby. So we're gonna finish up the workout with some abs. We're gonna do some leg lifts and some wood choppers. Now on the leg lifts, if you can't keep your legs straight and you have to do knees, that's totally fine. It's easy modification you can do. Just try to get as many reps as you can with your legs straight before you go to the knee version. Then you're gonna aim for 12 to 15 repetitions. You know what we forgot to do? What? I forgot to ask you why your outfit looks so good and where you bought it from. Oh! That's a good question. You guys can go to jetnorth.com, use code SCOTT20, and you can look as good as me. Ooh. Oh, maybe even better, a lot oh, of you. Even better. I'm willing, you know, I'm the kind of guy I can admit that some of my subscribers might be prettier than me, and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Raw and uncut. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, the big boy's here. Oh, who's the big boy? Oh my God! Special appearance. Oh man! Oh my God! What's today? Special appearance. Is that a small? What size it's is that? 
TTF, <laughs> Tariq the Freak. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, Ooh. fill it out. Look at that. We need to get Tariq some We just started today. Don't yeah. worry, guys. Tariq will be back in a future episode. He's just getting his school schedule under control. That's right. That's all right. That's Education right. first. Education. Big right. brain. But, and then big I mean, muscles. first it was only school, but since his debut, all the oh. ladies. Knocking uh -huh. his door down. Now the schedule is just getting tighter oh, yeah. and tighter. Right? How many <laughs> dates are you going on in a week? I can't even count anymore. I know, that's hard. Like, that's why you're probably still in school. <laughs> Math's like, is hard. <laughs> he doesn't even save names in his phone. He just responds, hey baby. A bunch of numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So guys, just so you know, um, I'm going to be training with Tariq off camera as well and you will see him in future videos too. Probably the next time we do a workout to switch things up will be like back and biceps or back and shoulders or something along those lines and he's ready to take it to the next level so it's going to be legit. People people are making fun of us in the comments because we keep saying how tall Tariq is. Stand do next I make to Tariq real quick? Dude, he's tall. He's a I'm tall guy. He's as tall as Tyler though. Like oh no, whatever. Tyler's pretty tall too. Yeah, I'm like whatever. I'm just like normal. It's like 6'1". Yeah. I, I thought it was... <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, there we go. No, really good <laughs> so uh right now we're in my man cave because after a hardcore workout you need to pwn on call of duty and for those of you guys who don't know i actually do stream on my other channel my gaming channel oh the hermanity so make sure you check it out because believe it or not i'm actually pretty good look i got a, i just got a gaming monitor and everything oh. it's legit look at these headphones it's legit, guys. Talk all kinds of smack when I'm poning noobs. <laughs> no, but seriously, I do game. I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> um, so I just got home from the workout. Me and Ricky both got into the car. We're just like exhausted. Mm -hmm. Our friend Brandon was at the gym, and every time we're trying to film a workout and he's there, it takes like an extra hour and a half because <laughs> Brandon and his shenanigans. But got home. And my Toy Story 4 Steelbook has arrived. Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really like this movie. <laughs> but I still bought it. Um, I don't know. Like, I like the movie, but I feel like they just got too far away from, like, what the movie was supposed to be about. I mean, in Toy Story 1, they're afraid to leave Andy's room. Now they're, like, going across the country, and it's more just about, like, a toy adventure versus, like, the original concept. But... They actually came out with Steelbooks, and I, I was surprised, I didn't even realize, I didn't even own t the first three Toy Stories, but they came out with Steelbook copies of Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, and then I just got Toy Story 4. These two guys were actually really funny throughout the entire movie. They wanted to, like, murder the old lady in the shop to get the key. <laughs> but, putting them on the rack. Oh. Hello. Ricky was here actually when we built this rack. Mm -hmm. I built this all myself, guys. Each Beautiful. each shelf is individually wrapped in felt. Got all my DVDs up mm -hmm. here, and then I'm I'm building up my my anime collection on the other side. I got let's I got every season of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, all the Dragon Ball Z movies. Um, they're up to. Season 8, I mean, uh, Box 8 on Super. I think 9 should be coming out this month. I started collecting Bleach. Um, Death Note, that's actually the only anime my wife likes. Fairy Tale is pretty good. This is actually one of my favorite anime movies, Summer War. If you guys haven't seen that, you gotta check it out. But After a long workout, 
This is where I like to go to chill, to relax and unwind. I mean, either here or spending some time with the wife, but she said I've been good all week and I can play games tonight, so I'm gonna be playing with my boys. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And uh, if you want to see more workouts like this, if you're enjoying the content, you want more ideas to bring to your workouts, let me know by tapping that like button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. If you guys missed the last full workout on how to build huge arms, if you're a true natty, make sure you click the link over here. It'll take you directly to that workout. And if you guys trust me and you like my training philosophy and how I do things, click the link below, download my app, sign up as a platinum member, and use the code MS7 for one week free and you can test out any of my full 12 week training programs and pick the one you like. If you're an advanced athlete, I recommend going with Cheat and Recover. It's the most advanced muscle and strength building routine that you'll ever try.